Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Servitor of Jagannath. Although you wouldn't really know, uh, judging by who I'm fighting. But that's what we are going for. So Ming has largely had its uh, sieges lifted for it. Ooh. Man, I can't catch a break with you guys. And yeah, Golden Horde's still Nomad, although, wow, they took expansion? That's most unusual. Unfortunately, they can't really use it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if they have a port, they will take expansion. They usually tank administrative pretty early. Uh, and thus can reform. But I guess the Golden Horde isn't about that this game. They are about accepting a concession of defeat, however. I have been defeated, Golden Horde. Good job at defeating me. It's one enemy out of the way. Only have some mercs there. I'm not running any mercs elsewhere, am I? Let's take a look at the world uh, power listings. Ottomans have rebuilt a little. They have 15 mercs. I have 40. So I still have some mercs somewhere. I don't think I have them in any of my forward stacks, though. Yeah, so where are my other mercs? It's like, legitimately odd. Are they over here? Oh, well, yeah, we, we really, really don't need a Merc Cannon, because those are expensive. Not that I seem to be hurting for money. Hmm. How are my vassals doing in on this? Ming's... Of course, on is just getting ruined. Persia, too. Ottomans, as well. Yeah, we'll just kill this. And man, they, uh... I don't need to do that. Just go on un siege there. Cause all kinds of problems. With the Ottomans. I want more from this war, but I don't think I can do it. I can push a border with Kara Koyonalu, though. See, here's the thing. Anywhere else I go, I'm going to eat the rebels instead of the Ottomans, and I don't really want to deal with that. Now, the Ottomans, for their part, are, don't have that low of a, a high of a war score with, against them. However, they lose their alliance with Persia, Tunis, Golden Horde, and Bukhara. Now, I guess I can't do Bukhara. I mean, that might be the best I can do, and just hope that they, uh, everyone sees them as fresh meat, basically, <laughs> and piles on. That's my that's my best hope if I'm doing that strategy. I'd really like to get a couple more guys out, but I think it's more practical to force the Ottomans out this way. In which case, I'm just going to make a run straight at there. That Persia stuff. And Kuzistan. Because, yeah, now my war score is getting to the point where it's out of control. I'm not going to be able to do anything. Ooh. Okay, with this, we are going to military focus because I'm way loaded elsewhere. We probably don't need Mr. Discipline any longer. We could use uh, one stability, so we will buy that up. Um... We don't need Vishnu, although I have, uh, I'm about to take a lot of Shia land that's pretty high tax. Well, let's tech. Let's see how much tax it really is. Seven, two, five, six, I mean, none of that's quite like Multan, so, whatever. Hmm. 
What else could I do? I could all I could retake another Ganesha. Go for diplomatic reputation. Probably not too big a deal. I could take Shakti again. <laughs> or we could just go with everyone's tried and true favorite. Because we expect to be coring in the Persia a little bit. Wow, that's really going more difficult for them than one would expect. Okay, I don't have a general on this. Oh. Okay, no, we're not pathing through the, the, the rebels. And man, we have quite a bit of rebels for the Ottomans here. Hey, uh, QQ, you want to give me access for, like, a little bit here? Just a smidge? Can you do it? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go this way. And you too. You go, just go around. And since we're in the neighborhood... Not quite going to catch him. Ottoman first age has to be pretty abysmal by this point. You going to get away? Yeah. They're just going to sit tight there? Gotcha. Gotcha. Going nowhere. I don't remember having this much problems hiring Merc infantry. But okay. Let's see if we can do a little extra damage to Persia. That didn't work for you, Persia. Look at all these potential rebels. <laughs> I'm leaving the Ottomans in until I'm ready to peace out Persia. There's no reason to get the Ottomans out early, because it won't drop the war score by enough. Oh, now they're getting hit by Sunni zealots. The nation's a mess. I'm going to inherit a complete mess. Oh, I do have to watch out for that bug, too, if I annex them before ending the war with Persia. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. <laughs> Not because I'm necessarily going to end the war with Persia too quickly, but... Rather because uh, it's not going to annex Coruscant very fast. Okay, I don't really need this any longer, and it will hurt me to keep it, so... Oh, wait a minute. You're trying to unseed your rebels. You're not allowed to do that. Now well, we got some coalitions in the Chinese region for us. Oh, you're at left the coalition. And they still got plenty of AE. What are you leaving it for? It's no fun when my opponents cower before me too fast. I want to at least crush them and then have them cower. Bukhara, huh? You are a really insignificant blip in this war, Bukhara. But as you will. Now, how about you just go this way? Get back into Persian lands like that. Now, I can check to see if our Ottomans have certain rebel types by uh, going to support them. So we can look at that. Iraq is out, Hungarian is out. I 
Let's give the Mamluk ones a little nudge while we're waiting. Just a small nudge. really need more troops for that. It'll work on Fort Twos a little bit, but it'll work better if I get more troops, because you can really blow them up then. No, not support rebels. Fabricate claims. Really? I'm first? I don't have any navy. Is, <laughs> is it just going that miserably in Europe? Oh man, Co I was gonna ally the Commonwealth? No, apparently not. <laughs> At least no discernible uh, version of that. What a mess. It's all Catholic too. Nope, lost another siege to rebels. Yeah, let's work Persia down a bit. Yeah. I want to really get my money's worth from them, because they have cost me quite the fight by allying Ottomans. Why couldn't I have one of those games where you just uh, have the Timurids get wrecked? by the player and feed Persia and the Ottomans rival the Timurids rather than allying them. That would have been nice. Maybe not as amusing to watch, but nice. Ooh. Not going so hot for Persia either, unsurprisingly. Man, no one's jumping in on the derps. That's incredible. They have, like, no allies. <laughs> that Golden Horde is nothing. And the Ottomans themselves are really weak. Go ahead and kill that. Got all that? Yeah, okay. And I'm even going to lift some sieges soon. With my route my uh subjects. Aw, oh, what a shame, Persia. You got internal conflicts. I wanna get those guys going first. What? Rebels, huh? Can't really see what's going on there. Call for peace is getting bad. I'm not gonna be lasting this war much longer. It's unfortunate. Well, it's been a long war. <laughs> it's been a really long war. This started in 1539. So this is an 11 years war. We're starting to get like competitive in the period a little bit. A little bit, not really. Well, maybe in the game, actually. In this in this period of this world, we're competitive in the period. For some of the longest wars. Ah, oh, you've gotta be kidding me with that. Ah. Oh, kill air, kill air, kill air. I don't have a good way of doing it though. Maybe get another one of those liberal backlash events, maybe? <laughs> Try and figure it out this time. I'm sorry, but no. Why are there Patriot Rebels in Coruscant? Exactly. It, in Coruscant land for Coruscant. Are these all mercs? Yeah, this is my straight merc stack.
Good stuff. You're kidding me. All these nations leaving the coalition. I'm clearly not fighting them enough. Blech. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see the Egyptian Patriots. soon. Although I've been saying that for a little while, I suppose. Come on, there's no way. They have 20 war exhaustion. There it is. Have some Egyptian patriots. I think now is as good a time as any. I'm just going to force them to an old bunch of treaties and hope for the best. You want to assault this for me? No, oh, I guess I'll do it. Okay, I needed my dude back. Yeah, like now would be good. Shoot, one more tick of war exhaustion, I guess. Unfortunately. So, Persia. You have cores that belong to Baluchistan. <laughs> <laughs> like they have a core that belongs to Blue Stan, I guess. Let me verify that. Oh yeah, they have one core that belongs to Blue Stan. Here you go, Blue Stan, for you. <laughs> and now, we well, take just this, cause that's all I can take without going massively overextended. I don't know, that's all I can take as a uh, war score. But importantly, they are lacking in alliances with Ottomans now. Okay, so we have internal conflicts looming. I can only afford to reduce this once, so I have to let it tick down a bit. In terms of being able to convert it, we can, although Hormaz will take a little while. And now we have to have manpower recover. But that doesn't mean we have to stop warring, it just means we stop using... Ugh. Ming. Ming, Ming, Ming. Don't tell me their Mandate of Heaven is lost. It is! Why is your Mandate of Heaven lost? Well, saddle up, Mercs. You've got a lot of work in front of you. While my other troops recover. <laughs> and they will have to recover a lot. What's left of them, anyway. We also have too many generals, so I'm going to dump one of them. You are not valid any longer. 
And yes, we shall rival the Ottomans, we will rival Portugal, and we will rival Oirat. Now, the Ottomans have some enemies. Um, and none of them are relevant to me. Shoot. That might all have been for naught, because I... There, no one's going to pile on the Ottomans, apparently. Alright, get rid of this little... Yeah, we never did convert Canton. actually do want to grab our mercs. We want to hire more if possible. Yeah, we're in good shape for that. I can't do anything with Ken. Leave me alone. Not without an Inquisitor, which I don't have available. Can I actually annex these guys? This is negative one a month. I guess we should probably deal with these. Um, Persia is not going to do as well. Of course, Persia might get one of those uh, self defections or some nonsense that the AI likes to get. An alliance offer from a drop a hit. If you westernized in something, I could use you, but no, I'd rather just conquer you. That would be more handy. Alright, we have free diplomats. Let's throw some claims down. Well, you didn't emerge in good shape, Coruscant, but you emerged. our manpower back together. Administrative efficiency. Ha! That's false advertisement. There's no administrative efficiency there. I will be trying to get it, though. <laughs> as soon as I finish administrative, I will be uh, using the, the tech discounts. Yeah, I need to get over there. Anything to build yet? Not really. I mean, I guess I can throw down a few weapons manufacturers. It'll improve my income for military points. It's fine. It's something at this point. No, my income is respectable. And now it's time to go on some Ming rebel hunts. And since we don't have a lot of manpower for this go around, we are going to run Merc for it. Lots of them. Hmm. And otherwise, you go here, you go there. I guess I could put a claim on them. Internal conflicts. That'll go away. I just need my war exhaustion to come down. I like how I still have these uh, rebels. I just don't know if this is enough damage to the Ottomans.
Yeah, see, like, they, they're taking out the Syrian ones, and if you look at their armies, they'll recover really quickly. Although they're probably saying the same thing about me. Um, Armenian, Shirvan will probably enforce. Iraqi might. I doubt if the Egyptian ones will, but it would be great. Um, Hungarian probably will. Still take some hits here. It would have been better if they lost Syrian because they would have lost all that power. Ugh. So much damage. At least the rebels are made of tissue paper. That's the one upside. Kill all these stupid peasants. Well, at least you have positive stability, so I don't have to worry about that aspect of the mandate being lost. Yeah, pure infantry is not the most efficient way to fight stuff, but... Or at least not directly. They are the best for assaults. Yeah, my manpower is starting to make a showing too. Kenton is so strong. And then we'll just have to clear out all the occupations, but we can do that. You're not allowing a second Ming explosion. One Ming explosion was enough. Yep, keep marking at this point. We have plans for them. That going back to hedge as I guess looks like it. End of internal conflicts. You have been shattered by rebels multiple times. Congratulations. <laughs> they have religious zero. That's something. Okay, we have all the ra the peasants killed at least. Now we just clear out all the junk and call it a day for the rebels. And Ming will like us even more for it. Ooh, we can improve army tradition or uh, get manpower back. <laughs> this is a rare time where I will take the manpower. Start getting that a little bit. Because we're really close to the army tradition cap anyway, so it's really only more like six army tradition rather than the amount it was showing. And then as soon as we clear these sieges, our war exhaustion should have dropped enough to get out of internal conflicts risk and to get out of problems. And then we will deal with the rest. Yeah. We're good. Warp speed. Now, about my own country. Mm. I might see some progress. I don't think so, though, because they're not the same religion any longer. I need the Annex Subjects modifier to disappear. And that's going to stick around for a little bit. The other thing is if I make enough Deplo to get to, like, Diplo reputation, that would continue to, but that's gonna be... It's not gonna be ten years for that. I need my heir to die. Like, I need my heir to die horribly. Yes, it doesn't matter as much now that it's late in the game, but that's still not gonna be fun. 
That will not be fun to deal with whatsoever. Alright, I'm going to stop the recording here. Because I'm just sieging rebels, I'm not going to start until I'm doing something interesting. So, yeah. Bit of a gap, but those watching the stream can see it. Alright, and so for this I'm probably just going to do some housekeeping for like the next 10 minutes or so and call it a night. It is getting late. And then it's probably time for some reconquest spamming on uh, Chinese vassals with a little bit of assaults thrown in. Have you advanced in tech, Ming? Should I be trying to get you to westernize? I don't think I should really care. Oh yeah, I still have claims to refabricate, don't I? Yeah, I've got some. Um, I'm throwing some on Persia. Oh, I can throw them on QQ. Oh, the QQ is in the coalition. Ah, I think a lot of people are in the coalition now because that war took so long. How are you doing, Ottomans? They are trying to unsiege. Are they succeeding or are there still rebels sieging? Looks like they're going to clear the Egyptian patriots, unfortunately. Or Mamluckian nationalists, whatever. They will lose some stuff. I did some damage to them. Okay, Persian Patriots are not going to come before I get these out. Get the cores. Could collect in Hormoz. The nice thing about Hormoz is that, um, there's no merchant steering to inland. You can protect it with a fleet, and only one node exits it. So, that's not too bad. But ultimately, the best node is probably Zanzibar for me. Although at this point, do I really care? <laughs> I would hire plus three advisors, but... Well, I can actually, here. Yeah, I mean, I'm running a ton of Merc. Even if I went to level three in Diplo Advisor, it wouldn't be a big deal. How many mercs am I running anyway? Oh yeah, we are we are cooking. You're cooking nicely. Whew. Now we can just start converting. Could really use an inquisitor. Now. Oh. Okay. I'll actually use the Inquisitor. And since I do have him, I'm actually going to start with the hard stuff first, including Canton and Hormoz. As those are going to be pretty tough to deal with. And if I can get through Hormoz, there's not a whole lot else in the Persian region that would be more difficult than that. In fact, most of the stuff would be pretty easy. Hormoz and Khuzestan and... and uh, the Teberistan starting capital. Those are the ones that can give you a little bit of problems. And after that, not really. <laughs> Look, you stand in the Ministry of Monarchy. So, how many works? Eighty almost. Either. There are very few provinces in the game that you cannot assault with 80 Merc infantry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, next wars with Ottomans, next wars with Persia, next wars with anybody in the game, as long as I can uh, front enough soldiers to keep them off of that, it's not going to end well. I really wish you would bankrupt Ottos. That would be a really nice thing. You 
gain conquest on Wu. Considering I want to core that to a degree, we'll work on it. Anything else? Oh, I want to keep fabricating claims on Persia for sure. I can take a lot of that for cheap if I do so. I want to improve my uh, monarchy type too. But I need to be at least admin 12 for that. I really should be a republic already. I'm still bitter over that. <laughs> at least a little. Ah. Uh. Might want to uh, position some stuff to deal with the Arakan. So here's good, actually. So run there. Oh no, and once I court that stuff, I am making progress on Coruscant. Ooh, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to convert then. And a lot of claims to throw on Persia. Yeah, I think the Ottomans are in one of those situations where they're being swarmed, at least. They're going to lose Shervan. There's no way they're not. No way. Because they can't reach it. Oh, beautiful. I actually like the maneuver a little better on my Merc stack, and you'll see why. But the um, for a fighting... General, that's a nice general. I'm doing pretty good on the inflation. Small inks tells us of internal conflicts. You actually go here. You're not a whole lot of use up in Merklands. We're getting close to integrating Coruscant. Hmm. I could just declare on Karakoyunalu and bring out Iraq. It might be better just to annex, the, annex them, core the stuff, because again, not very high tax here, except for Baghdad, I guess. No, because I can... Um, I don't want to... No, Iraq is perfect. What am I thinking? Yes. This is what we do. I full annex QQ. Um, maybe not. Maybe I just take these three provinces. Release Iraq. We're, we can feed Iraq later. Uh, or no, take this province as well. And then... Um, just leave no connection to Africa. Like, this can be a vassal as well. Maybe Mamluks or Syria can block. That's fine. Yeah, that'd be great. Deliberately blocking ourselves. That's great. Great fun. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually am converting in Hormoz, so let's uh, go stand on it. Persian Patriots are actually not that unruly. Well, okay. Iraq coming out is a little bit annoying, but... I guess we can just return course to them and take this instead. <laughs> Silesia. At least it gave them cores. There's a while the game wouldn't even give you cores. Okay. Split up. Stop costing us money. Even though it's not much of an object. It's still irksome. And I would say we are pretty darn close to ready for war. And in fact, I'm going to bring uh, the beat stick over here because we don't need it in the west. So I think uh, we're, as soon as I'm over, marched over, we're at a pretty good stopping point. Ready to blow up Arakan and 
assert ourselves against the coalition. Which will involve a lot of people. QQ, Arakan, Kamer, Korea, Malacca, Wu. Yeah, but the, the problem with all these guys, Jin's not even in on it. <laughs> you're not safe, Jin. I don't know what you're thinking. So yeah, I'll declare into the coalition. I'll declare on Jin. Keep feeding up Ming. They're uh, pretty happy with me overall, considering what I did to them. Yeah, if I improve another 100, I can keep them really high, even though they have a huge aggressive expansion. And then... I'm at 38. They are at 35. Yeah, then I just need to take a few tacks. I think I do want to let them westernize. They don't rebel hell me. Permanently, they'll just temporarily rebel hell me. I was able to pull them out of their gutter, though. Oh, never mind. QQ left the coalition. Oh, something happened over here. Yeah, Ottomans are having trouble, actually. Looks like they uh, went for the Mamluk guys with prejudice, but they're not having it so nice everywhere else. The Bulgarian nationalists and Armenian. Epirot nationalists? Oh, man. There's no way, right? There's no way they'll let that go through. I would be so happy, though. <laughs> that would release all of Greece. All Greek culture provinces would go. And I don't need to tell you how ridiculous that is. It's pretty obvious. Well, that would bring in Jin. There's a better way to do that. I'll declare an air camp first in the next part. And we're almost done with Coruscant, too. So slow. I wonder if Tiberistan takes... No, I think Coruscant and Persia are the only two who take religious. Ha! <laughs> That's lulzy. Good luck with that, Persia. Nice. So, you can just go and reinforce. How much now? 47 power. And what kind of conversions do we have? It's a lot. It's a lot. Hmm. What kind of unity do we have? I could just take it the policy that gives unity, but I don't want to pay for it. Alright, I think that's going to be good for now. We are about to get a Patriot Rebel Uprising, but I don't see that being too difficult to deal with, ultimately. I could actually put it down if I were to not be converting, but I'd rather just fight it and get the conversion done. We're getting back up there in manpower already, thanks to our army tradition, but I don't want that to decay too much further. It decays really quickly when you don't have ideas that keep it. So, I will save it. I'll think about ways to kill my woeful heir, other than hoping I get lucky. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Me and team, signing out.